can you believe we started this show and it's been as long running as our relationship? Really? It has? Holy shit. Yep. Mind fuck and mind, mind blown. Fuck. Mind fuck, mind fuck, mind fuck. <laughs> Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to the Charming Analysis Podcast, and lo and behold, we weren't expecting to do something separate from our Christmas Palooza, but here the fuck we are. Yeah, especially this late. Yeah, like it's literally almost three in the morning, and we just finished watching this. How can we do this to each other? It's fine. At least we're both off tomorrow anyway. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to the Charming Analysis Podcast. And today we are going to be talking about something I was actually not expecting to come out till next year. Mm-hmm. Um, the final season of Hilda. I know. I was actually not expecting for this to come out, like literally before the end of twenty twenty three. I thought we were getting this next year, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. But here we are. So it came out like a couple days ago, and we finally decided to actually finish it. And. Holy shit. It's been forever since we've actually done anything Hilda related. Yeah. But for those who don't know, we have covered the first two seasons on our channel. If you go look on our channel and you could find them on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess why don't you explain what season three is about since it's the final season? Uh, season three has to deal in the world of fairies and whether or not they're real. And... Basically around that, and also we get to meet Hilda's dad, and we also get to meet, um... Joanna's the, parents. Well, that is technically a spoiler, but, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We get to meet the, the side of different peace family members in this yeah. story. But, yeah, there are going to be spoilers in this for those who have not seen it, so... I do suggest going to watch season three before you come back to this, because mm-hmm. we're, we're going to be talking about spoilers. Mm-hmm. So, first thing we're going to talk about, um, this was only eight episodes. I was actually not expecting us to get eight episodes, not going to lie. I think you said the other two seasons had 13, right? Around there, uh, this one has definitely a lot less, it only has eight so, and I'm assuming that's all they could get. Uh, Which I wouldn't be surprised because you said Netflix tends to do this kind of thing, which honestly is really sad. Yeah. Especially with as good of a show as this and such an underrated show. I mean, yes. Um, I didn't think it was because it was such a long hiatus. We only got that movie and then nothing until today, which was like a movie came out during the pandemic, early pandemic, so a good long couple years without anything, and then, oh, season three just dropped, but it's only this many episodes, and this is the last season, so. Yeah. Which good I, luck to you! <laughs> which I was actually not expecting, especially with how great this fucking show is. Yeah. But, um, honestly... Well, we don't know how successful it is. A- a- everything is marked on succession. If you're not making a billion views... Then I guess they don't care, but, you know. Well, we don't know that, but I, it's something I'm, I am going to have to look into, definitely. Because mm-hmm. I am curious how good this series has is this done. this trending? Is last season trending right now? Was Hilda ever trending? Because if I don't it wasn't, think so. then they probably didn't care. Which is really sad, because this show is so underrated. Like, it it's is. so good. It is good. Y'all need to fucking go watch this series. Please go watch this fucking series. Please. Go show this last season some support please but anyway um i actually really liked this season i was not expecting to actually get a third season if i'm being completely honest with you i thought the movie was basically going to be the end of it but i'm actually happy we got a final season i'm just surprised it ended on three like i feel like they could have done so much more with it because of the vast like openness of the world and stuff like that like i feel like they could have done more, but for what we got, I do feel like it was good. Yeah, for what we had, you know. But I am curious, though, about one thing before we go into, like, my thoughts on it and your thoughts. What? I wonder how much of this got squeezed together. I'm curious if 
they had more ideas but couldn't cram it in there. I could tell. I could tell. You could it tell. Was very like squeezed in together. Which is it's sad. A lot of these shows that like I'm like oh that could have been a full episode, but you know we, like, we could. It was only five minutes, so. <laughs> yeah, I f- definitely I could kind of tell a little bit, like not completely, but you can kind of tell with some of these last seasons, depending on like the series and like the executives, mainly like Netflix shows. If I'm being honest, mm-hmm. you can kind of tell when they're getting rushed. Minus the exception of Owl House, because that was Disney. That, that was Disney. Well- <laughs> but <laughs> okay, you can tell with certain series when. Although they have- to be completely honest, I. I've not seen a TV show that hasn't been tempered with, so this is nothing new to me. I know. This is nothing, like, this is nothing that, like, is shocking to me anymore. They they normally get rushed anyway, unless you're, like, a, again, you earn a billion fucking dollars. And then you get, then you get, like, whored out, like, intensely until money dries. But, like... I mean, I'm used to it so much already that it's just kind of inevitable for me. I kind of have to get in that mindset of, okay, this might be canceled or this might be rushed. And I yeah. I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't have to get into that mindset for I don't either. shows, especially shows that I liked. And, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, I do, lo- I do really, really like the show. I like it's, you know, it's laid back. I love its animation. I love the... I, I really do enjoy the characters and stuff like that. Like the animation is honestly. Beautiful. I will not. I will not um, lie though. Kind of the first season was the best season for me because of the fact that oh like you know gosh. it was taking its time on which you know, I understand. telling its like stories. It basically was just the biggest thing was like Hilda getting used to her new environment, which is fine for me. Like you know that was a nice nice little season. It was a nice little season for me. I will and say this- I still say the whole show is good on its own. Will I consider it to be one of the great shows? Maybe not, but it's still something I would you know recommend for people. Especially if you're into, like, fantasy and, like, stuff like that. If you're into, like, you know, the, like, wilderness fantasy, folklore, all that stuff. Yeah. Very fictional. I will fictional say this, though, and this is something I have noticed, at least based on, I think, the last, like, major series we've watched. Mm. You tend to lean more toward the first season of shit and never I pick do, it up again. because, like... No, I, I will pick it up again. It's just going like, to be less you enthusiastic. Just fix, you, you just lo- show favoritism toward the first season because for like the a first lot season, of things. Because they're not normally rushed during the first season. Which is understandable. But they it's don't like, have those, like, you know, times where... But the thing about it, what it tends to drag it a lot for me is that they like to shove everything, everything in at the last minute. And I'm just like, I get it. You didn't have time. But there are some things also that you could have cut out that and, or you could have not... made it less obvious yeah that the... you had to cut stuff out which i understand like i could think of these like two episodes in this show then this last season that could have been cut out probably could have fleshed out well we can talk about that like in a minute but let's talk about our thoughts on the season first before we get into like our little nitpicky things okay sorry. so i am actually surprised with the way this this last season turned out mainly because I was not expecting for us to actually talk about fairies in this. I thought, oh, they're, they're not going to fucking talk about the fairies. Mainly because they talked about all these other unique creatures. I thought, we're not going to get fucking fairies. Mm-hmm. And wouldn't you know, they dropped fucking fairies. But yes. these fairies were a lot different than other ones I've seen. Like, these take on a they unique just were premise. Floating people. Yeah, like legit. They were legit floating people. They did some magic. That's it. And they had pointy little ears. But that's it. They didn't even have pointy ears. Some of them did. Like, uh, Joanna's like dad did. Oh. And same with his sister Astrid. But um, anyway, it's very subtle. You couldn't really tell too much, but I could tell. I could tell. But anyway, so that's one of the things. Like, mm-hmm. this was honestly really good. I feel like out of all the ways they could have ended it, I like how they did this. So... What about you? Do you feel like they did good for this third season, or do you feel like, besides the fact that it was rushed, do you think it turned out good? I think it turned out, you know, I think it turned out, you know, all right for what, like, you know, for they what they did. To do. Yeah. 
Um, I gotta like remember, like you know, I'm like, don't forget this these is all like... supposed to like, I guess, build up to this because it seems like it wasn't. I feel like season three is the black sheep to where I don't feel any build up from the other season. It just felt felt like an off, it kind of felt like an off script season to me. Yeah, I, and I can kind of agree with you on it's that. Like, like, so, like this, this conflict, this plot that they did in season three, no, no connections to anything. Yeah, like that they had in the other seasons. If they even had a connection, kind of a little bit of a bother or something to me. It felt like they for. It felt like it was like okay, let's forget everything on that we build up the past two seasons and the movie, and ignore that and go focus on this other thing. So let's just like kind of left everything else to the sidelines and like all the all the characters that you you know we like liked and are fan favorites don't even get a line in the show. They don't even get a line in the last, which we will talk about in a minute. Or there were side characters, but like, and that's something I do agree with you on. They were a big part of the other like the other seasons. Like literally, like I will agree with you on that. Like before season three. There was no hints to fairies at all. Like, literally none no. until, like, this the first fucking episode of the season. And it's like, okay, if they were going to do something with it, they should have just stuck with the trolls because they were the longest thing that had stuck in the series. Or at least Alfred's, like, characters, like, little, like, elf people. At least they could have stuck with that. But I'm surprised they decided, hey, let's completely My ditch boy, that. My I'll... I'll- my boy Alpha didn't get, barely got anything. He was only, like, I can literally count at, on my hand how many times he has been in this season. At least five or six. I know. And that's it. And, and that's that the surprise so about. so sad. His little, little, little elf man ain't even in it through that long. And I was like, no, I want more of him in his stupid. The fucking legs. troll characters, got, not the troll, the, what are they called? The. The ones with the big noses, the fluffy fluff ball thingies. I forgot what their names were. Unis Honest. No, <laughs> that's not Unis Honest. Um, you know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know the, 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 the little thingies. I'm just going to call them fluffy big Wurbles. noses. Wurbles. Wurbles. No, I just, I just. That's. What I'm, I'm gonna call. I'm just gonna call them fluffy noses. No fluffy noses. But. They had more screen time than them. That's the sad part. They had more screen that's time. Sad. I I wish. Like that's the thing I was surprised at. So that that's the first thing I'm like the first couple of things we're gonna point out. A lot of the characters from the first two seasons weren't really in it, mm-hmm. which is kind of sad. But at the same time, I think they were trying to maybe show off a couple characters that maybe they were planning on releasing sooner and they just didn't. I feel like if and they had given this, have spent the whole series, the whole this season on fairies, and then a couple episodes, like side episodes in trolls, trolls, which is like the thing I was surprised at. They had eight episodes, and they did I think like at least two that were like side ones, like two side ones, maybe three, and it's like. But it has nothing to do with it. It's it had like they nothing wanted to, to do, do like with their it. Their adventure, like let's do adventure of the week. But then, oh wait, we got we got a thing that we got we got to go back to that thing in the like. It's like okay, we'll focus on these episode adventures in the middle. Oh no, we got to go back to this thing. And I'm like, it doesn't it doesn't match up. The bricks don't match up with each other. Yeah, like that part did kind of throw me off a bit. Now yeah. that I'm thinking about it, but I was like whiplash. This like, is oh something that I feel like. If Netflix had just given them another season or at least another movie, at least I feel like maybe they could have done five that. Five episodes, maybe. That at least a couple more episodes. Something. Like this is what they should have done. They should have either made this se- season thirteen or so, like the other one. Add another movie, or they could have just like, but not even talked about but it. But you know what? It's Netflix, and um, they're very shitty when it comes to getting a, getting new programming or new like new seasons. Because for their like programming. they're really shitty. And so also, gonna... don't forget for those who don't know, they this this series probably had okay compared to the Steven I Universe bombs. I, I wouldn't be shocked that they. Well, here's the thing. Didn't Steven Universe have fucking five or six seasons? Yeah, they have... Like, here's the thing. That's what I'm going to try and explain. Fuck that noise. Compared to the five or six seasons that Steven Universe had, 
Yet they had super long hiatuses. Stop giving the middle finger. Mm. This one had the the most distance of hiatuses I think I've ever seen with the show. And that's saying something. That's saying for some this is coming from someone that used to w- watch Steven Universe the whole way fucking through, even through the hiatuses. This had way more hiatuses, in my opinion. And they only had three fucking seasons and a movie no. to do it. Which is honestly kind of crazy if you think about it right now. But... Uh, Steven Universe is worse. I he waited it. for nothing. He waited for 15-minute episodes. This at least is like... This is at least twice the length. And like twice literally the, length. the last episode and was... Yeah, you know what? You can tell that they... And you know what? You can actually tell that they put their budget in something. I don't know where the fuck they put their budget in Steven I Universe. I don't know. Um, We're not going to get into that. <laughs> anyway. So let's talk about some of the key points of this season. And then we'll give like more thoughts. So one thing that I was actually not expecting to be done in this season. And I'm actually glad that they did. We actually get to meet Hilda's dad. Mm-hmm. Like, first off, they, I'm, 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 you know what? I'm really happy they didn't treat it as like a big reveal. I'm like, oh, where has he been? Out of venture. He's kind of a little <laughs> bit of a deadbeat. He's got a little bit of a deadbeat. Yeah, that's it. Which is like, I'm like, okay, genuinely surprising because oh. I didn't like when I first found out from you that Hilda's dad is kind of going to get revealed. I was like. Okay, how the fuck are they going to do this? Is this going to be some giant, big-ass reveal? But no, they actually subtly did it, which I was actually not expecting. Mm -hmm. But this is something I have noticed about a lot of characters. Yet, I will come back to this, though. Mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot of characters within the last few years. With absentee fathers. Yes. And a lot of them are deadbeat dads. What is with the trend of deadbeat dads? I'm looking at you, Ghost of Molly McGee. I'm fucking looking at you with Libby's dad. And a couple other ones I can't remember thrown in there. I think that's just a personal anecdote. I don't know if it's just, like, something that people like to write, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, however, with this one, at least... I want to see a deputy mom. Like, an animated, like, deputy mom. They probably have those. You do realize they probably have those, honey. Mm Mm-hmm. You probably ones that you haven't seen, but whatever. Anyway, Ducktales. I don't think that counts. Oh, okay. Anyway, that we haven't even seen the full extent of it, so you can't even judge it. Shut up. Anyway, um, <coughs> sorry, I've been having allergies all day. But anyway, compared to some of the other ones I've seen, at least they make his character at least willing to engage with the daughter. Like, compared to some of the other ones that I've seen, like, I'm just going to use Libby's dad as an example because that's the only one I can think of right now because my brain is fried. From what I've seen of Ghost of Molly McGee, her dad's basically a writer and just basically is just focused on his work and stuff like that. Not really focused on her, which is honestly really fucking sad because Libby's fucking great. But with Hilda's dad... He's focused on adventuring, but he still cares about his daughter. He still cares about her. But I feel like he could do a little bit better. At least he's attempting. He's at least attempting to try and do better, which I think is a good thing. We we need more deadbeat dads that that are trying to do a better. I I do think Joanne hates him, hates him with his fucking guts though. Which I would like to know why that was. Like, I would like to know, like, the backstory of that, honestly. Like, that would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you, she's such an independent woman, and then you see her, her husband, and it's like, how? <laughs> I mean, she's not happy with it, but, you know, that's her. But she's at least willing to try and, I guess, make it work, even though she really doesn't want it to work. Sure. But, I guess, is the best way to put it. I think the best way to put it is, like, she doesn't like the idea of him being around Hilda. But she's willing to, I guess, try, I guess is the best way to put it. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But, um, but anyway, I was actually surprised they introduced him, and I'm happy that they did. 
My only nitpick with him is that he's just there, really. He doesn't really get too involved, except, like, a small couple portions of the show. Like, he was literally there for, like, the whole scene with them just bonding, and then gets captured by the fucking fairies. Like, yeah. gets dragged away, gone for, like, a good chunk of the fucking season, and then they finally bring her back. So it's like, what was the point of introducing him if you're just going to take him away for a couple seasons and then bring him back? Like, my opinion, they should have, like, done that a little bit better. But with the way that they decided to kind of pad it out a little bit, I can kind of see why they did it. Like, what do you think about Hilda's dad being in this? Like, do you like how they did him or no i mean i like that it wasn't so much a surprise like or an expectation of a big reveal which is true that's fine um after that he just existed yeah like they don't really do much with him which i thought they were gonna do at least a little bit more with him Mm -hmm. at least enough to where you know he wasn't just just there I feel like if they're going to introduce a guy, a character, at least make him compelling enough to not just exist. I feel like that's kind of a waste of potential. But on the other hand, though, can we please agree that Joanne killed it in this? Fucking Joanne killed it in this. Honestly, like, first off, this woman's a fucking badass. And this is something I've gotten to appreciate over the course of the season. This bitch is so cool. Like, Hilda's mom is such a badass. We need more badass moms like her. And she's, like, badass for all the right reasons. Like, she's willing to save her daughter and everybody else when no one else wants to do shit. She takes fucking initiative. I started to like her way... Like, I've always liked her as a character, but I started to really enjoy her character... Since the movie, honestly. Like, the movie and this season really brought out Joanne's character. Do you Mm -hmm. think so? Mm Mm-hmm. Because I really did. And honestly, like, I'm surprised with all the shit. I'm trying hard to remember the movie. But in this season, I feel like we got a lot more... A bonding. She's still protective of her daughter. But then again, Hilda's 13. And, oh, that's another thing that's happened this season. There's a fucking time skip. Mm Mm-hmm. There's a fucking time skip between... The last season and this season. Well, technically the movie in this season. Yeah. The big, what, it's like two years? Like a year or two? Something like that? First off, all the kids are taller now, mm-hmm. which is so weird because I'm used to them being short. <laughs> so seeing them taller is like weird. Yep. Sorry, I gotta like clear my throat really quick. Oh my God. Look at my Drink, 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 chug, 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 chug. <laughs> I'm just clearing my throat, honey. <laughs> my goodness, I'm not even chugging. Chug that shit. Okay. Anyway, um, that's definitely something I noticed within this. Like, Joanne definitely gotten a lot better mm-hmm. and stuff like that. She got so flushed out in this season, and I'm so proud. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. But yeah, time skip is definitely another thing I was actually not expecting at first. Like, literally, Jay showing me the trailer was consistent of me being like, my first reaction to it was like, holy shit, they're taller. Yep, they're a lot taller. Second thing, David finally had his voice pitch. He finally, like, lost the high pitch. He finally hit puberty. That's the second thing I noticed. Like, literally the things I noticed when I first saw the trailer. They're taller. David is fucking hitting puberty. Mm-hmm. Like, that I was not expecting, like, at all. Because, like, he was so, like, sheepish and sheepish and stuff throughout the course of the se- series. He's finally... I've started to finally like him more. This season, I actually like him a lot more than the other ones. I feel like he did a lot better in this season. Also, apparently they dropped the whole thing about Frida being, like, a witch. Ah, That's barely mentioned, like, at all except for, like, the end. I know. Which is, like, sad because I would have liked to see more episodes of her trying to learn how to be a witch like we just get oh the one section in season two and then like never again which they did bring it back for like a couple episodes but like very briefly which is like you think it suffers from like we have to have the main character their syndrome like we can't have like 
episodes where they can't be in it. I don't really think they did that with Hilda, in my opinion. Or if they did, it wasn't as, like, obvious in my opinion, like they still had focus on other characters. Obviously, Joanne. <laughs> like, I don't really think they did that, in my opinion. And if they did, they hit it in the best way they could. I feel like. And then another thing I'm gonna mention: the fucking fairies. Why have you guys not introduced the fairies until fucking now? At least hinted it in the fucking movie. They should have done that. At least a little bit. But no, they decided, hey, let's make the entire third season about fucking fairies. And they're not even like the typical fairies. Like they're literally just people, like I said, we said before, people with fucking, like that fucking float. That's literally all they are in this. And some of them wear the fucking cloaks. That's it. That's literally all it is. And it's just like mushrooms and shit like that. But, um, oh my goodness. They were interesting characters, though. I will say that. They were actually very compelling characters. I'm just surprised that it took them this long to actually, like, be introduced. Like, what do you think? Do you feel like this... Do you, do you actually like the fairies in this season or not really? I want to know your opinion. Uh, As you floss your teeth. It was the least interesting thing about this show. So. Really? Mm-hmm. Even though I will admit the backgrounds were fucking pretty for the fairy stuff. I thought they were really cool. So many mushrooms. Well, yeah, but the background is always going to be pretty in Hilda. I know, but you know what I mean. But um, I guess another thing I will mention. I guess we're going to get into spoiler territory now. What do you think about the fucking reveal about literally Joanne and Hilda being half fairy? Can we get to that, please? Like, what do you think of that? Like, that threw me for a fucking loop. I was not expecting that to actually happen. I never thought in a million fucking years that they would drop a a bombshell so big like that. And have no fucking hints to it, literally, at all. (laughs) I mean, I didn't really find it as big of a bombshell. Because it just felt like, well, they're going to have to go back home anyway. I know, but still, like... Like, that, that's the thing I thought that was kind of weird. Like, for, for, like, half the season, Joanne felt like she, like, had a memory she just didn't realize. Mm-hmm. And then we find out it's because she was born half a fairy. So, basically, her mom's a human and her dad is a fairy. They basically had a baby mm-hmm. that was half and half. And, basically, she got sick as a kid. And to make sure she didn't die, the parents sacrificed themselves on her 10th birthday. Which is mind blowing, honestly, like just mind crushing. And the fact that her dad's, like, her aunt was the one that, like, was trying to protect them, I just, I liked that a lot. I just thought that was interesting. The fucking aunt was amazing. Can we agree with that? Like, the, like, the aunt was amazing, in my opinion. Like, what do you think? Uh, she was a cool little character. I just wish there was more, like, personality to her than just her being, like, mysterious. Mysterious, grumpy woman. Mm-hmm. That's literally all she was for, like, a good part of it. They could have expanded on, like, her character and a bunch of the other characters. But for what we got, I did think it was decent. Um, okay, I guess... I'm actually surprised they actually did the whole thing like, oh, Hilda's half a fairy and stuff like that, which I'm genuinely surprised at that. Like, why did they decide, hey, let's make her half a fairy and never explain why? (laughs) Like, they never explained, like, any of that, which is, like, weird. You would think, like, you would think that it would have gotten brought up at least once. Like, a subtle hint. Like, oh, like, even if it's, like, you know, like, a a little tiny, like, Easter egg, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They should have, I feel like it's one of those things, they should have just subtly hinted at it. They shouldn't have just, like, plain out said it until, like, the last fucking minute. They should have just subtly hinted at it throughout the seasons and then dropped the bombshell. 
Like, actually, like, confirm it. You know what I mean? I feel like that would have made it a lot more better, in my opinion. Like, what do you think? Like, do you think they could have, like, done better with the whole reveal? Because that, I feel like, would have made a lot better sense. Yeah, I feel like they could have done it a lot better. And again, I just feel like it's rushed. And... Which I don't blame them for, but still. It, it It's a lot. Like... I feel like they, th- that's something they could have done a little bit better. Like, I believed more of the her being a troll than a fucking fairy. Yeah. And it, is that sad? You believe she was more troll than fairy. I you know, there's stakes to that. Like, sh- it's like she has to get back to being human. Which was interesting. I still can't believe they even did that as a fucking movie. That's fucking genius. Yeah. They should have just stuck with the whole troll thing. Yeah. Why didn't they just do that? Not even bring the fairies into it. Like... I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the movie should have been the ending of the show. That's what I was going to say. Like, I was going to ask about that. Do you feel like the moving... Movie, not the moving. The movie could have been the, could have been the ending to the show. Because in my opinion, I could have seen that. Probably. I feel like they could have done that. This is what they should have done. They should have done season one, season two, the movie, epilogue. This third season should have been the epilogue Mm -hmm. to what happened in the movie. And then maybe another movie if they really want to end things out there. That's what they should have done. What do you think? Because honestly, I feel like, and I understand the whole hiatus thing kind of made the gap a bit, you know, obvious. And also the fact that there was a time skip. This season should have been like an epilogue to the movie. I feel like they could have done that better. But I'm not blaming, like, Luke and stuff like that, who's the creator of the series. I'm not blaming him. I'm partially blaming Netflix for this. Because I feel like that would have probably made it a whole lot more coherent, maybe. But then again, there's only so much you can do with a studio at this point. Unless you're doing it independent, there's only so much you can do. Which is the unfortunate truth in the matter and stuff. But, um... I guess, what are some things you would have changed about this season, in your opinion? Like, what would have you changed? Because definitely the pacing didn't really bother me until, like, I think the last two episodes, like, two, three episodes. I feel like the last two, three episodes kind of dragged. Definitely the last one dragged, like, in a couple points. Not, like, a lot of it, but, like, there was a few points where it did drag. Like, what do you think? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Take it mm. away, honey. I would just probably just ended it after the movie. Personally for me, I would have probably ended it after the movie. I'm not saying that this is a bad season. I'm just saying... And it's not. It's just... If you're going to do a series... I don't know. Hilda deserved a better send-off than this. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with you on that. Like what I said before... Season one and two, then the movie. And if they really wanted to round things off, they should have done an epilogue. Like, I'm going to bring Steven Universe into it because it's Uh, technically an epilogue. They could have done like what they did with Steven Universe Future, which is basically an epilogue in a sense to everything that happened, but done differently. They should have done like an epilogue, whether it be a fucking movie or the season that they did this time. That's what they should have done. But... Anyway, um, other than that, it was a solid season. I'm just sad this was the last one because they could have, this thing should have deserved like at least one more season or a fucking movie. At least do a movie. If you can't do a fucking another season, at least do a movie. Like, what do you think? Do you feel like the a movie could have been better after this one or like, it, or like, an epilogue type thing. If you had to pick. Do an epilogue. You already did the movie. Do an epilogue. True. Okay. I guess do you have anything else to say about it before we rate it? Or? I'll rate the season and then I'll rate the show. Okay. We'll do that. So you want to go first or you want me to go first? Um, I guess season three, I'm going to rate it like a five. You give it a five? Yeah. Um, for me... I would probably give this season, honestly, like, a 7.5. I think it's decent. and Like, it's a good season. 
a lot of areas, it's a good season. The only thing that doesn't make me give it higher is the way that they decide to round out a lot of the ideas. Because you could tell, excuse me, you could tell from a lot of scenes that some of these were supposed to be separate episodes. They just couldn't fucking do it, which I get with timing. But you can kind of tell that there was a lot that they could have done in other epi- like actual episodes and they just couldn't do it. Like, I think the best example I can think of is like the whole thing about Hilda basically adventuring with the younger Joanne. I feel like that could have been its own episode like right there. That could have been its own episode. And they could have like subtly gave out the hints that, oh, she's a fucking fairy. It's obvious. Like, you know, they could have done that. But other than that, it's a solid season, in my opinion. So I give it a 7.5. I think it's decent. But I feel like they could have done a bit of a better send-off. I feel like the movie was probably the better send-off, in my opinion, if I had to pick. So so we're going to rate it the entire thing, including the movie. So mm-hmm. what do you give season one, two, movie, and three? Because that's the order it came in, if your guys are asking. Well, I think season one's the best. But it's been so, so long since I've seen anything Hilda that in my fair conscience I cannot give it right now more than a 6 out of 10 because it's been so long and like I can't really remember most of it which is sad because a lot happened yeah. like in those seasons there's it's a just, lot that I probably did like I just can't remember right now think about it right now I feel like if we had watched this all like coherently I think it would have been better but at the same time it's literally like three something in the fucking morning I'm not staying up anymore past this once we're done (laughs) so I can understand that like I'll use another example like when we did the good omens podcast technically we had to watch the first season and the second one just because it had been so long since we last watched it I think it was like four years I think, right? Like, something like that? How long did, was it season one and season two of Good Omens? We watched it... We watched it over sh- Skype, and then, like, we came up here and we watched it again. I don't know if we watched it before season two, but... We did. We watched it before season two because I told you it had been so long. You probably weren't going to remember it. I did that so that way it was a refresher in our head. So... We technically did watch it. We spent, I think, one night watching season one and then the other night watching season two. So I think that's kind of how we did it. But do you feel like if you we had watched it all, like, not in the same night, but, like, a little bit closer together, you feel like your opinion would be different? Maybe. Or maybe not. Because even then, I wouldn't really consider it a great show. Okay. So, so I, okay, so let's give our rating for the whole series. So, would you give the entire I did, series a six out of ten? You give it a six out of ten. Mm-hmm. Would you recommend it to someone? If they liked relaxing shows, yeah. Would you give it to like a general watcher? I guess. Yeah, of, like, definitely. I give it to a general watcher. <laughs> there's All a right. lot of stuff that I. There's a lot of things that I will find very hard to not give to a general watcher that I enjoy. That's true. Okay, so for me. Because you got me into this show. And honestly, I am so happy you fucking did. This is one of the better shows I've been into in the last, like, few years. I'm just sad it kind of got... Is it because it reminds you of Mari being Soner? A little bit. <laughs> I-, I like the foresty kind of things. I think it's kind of cool. No. But um, I would give the entirety of Hilda, if I had to pick, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 honestly like entire series like a lot of the stuff I had issues with were like very minor things at least up to like season three like a lot of the stuff I liked like I didn't really have that many issues with the first two seasons in the movie until like this third season honestly if I had to pick Uh, most of the stuff I have was just like very nitpicky shit so I would give it an 8 out of 10 and I would definitely recommend this if you guys are like looking for something but that's pretty much our review of Hilda. 
How do you, how does it feel to finally be done, Hilda? Because I'm sad. I'm fucking sad. You're sad. Because it was okay, such honey. a good show. We'll find another show to watch. And another, we got plenty of shows another. that we're going to be watching next so year. So many shows! And movies. So we're, we got a time. lot planned for you guys, but we're not going to be talking about a lot of them till like our end of the year podcast. Mm-hmm. Which is going to be happening once Christmas is over with. We are going to be doing that. So, alright. So, I do suggest you guys go give this series a watch. Please go watch Hilda if you guys haven't. It's so good. And minus our issues, I would definitely recommend this to you guys. And so would Jake. Please go give this series a watch. It's so underrated. Mm-hmm. This thing needs some views. Like, please. Give the show fucking likes and, and like, reviews. Please. But, yeah. Anyway, um... Thank you guys for watching, and me and Jay are going to go collapse in bed now, because mm-hmm. we're both, it's literally fucking 3.20. We're both tired bitches. It's fucking 3.20, and my throat's giving out at this point, because of how much screaming I did. Your diff- eyes are red. I'm <laughs> tired, but worth it to fucking do this review, but anyway, I'm Mari. I'm Jay. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.